And as you know here, we're big fans of crypto mining, we're big fans of staking. Another thing we're big fans of are trading bots. Today we're going to be going over uh, pinex.us trading bot. It's a really simple trading bot for you guys, for those of you guys who aren't like all that ready for like three commas and all trading and all those. This is a really simple trading bot. I really like it. I've made some decent gains with this bot. Uh, I'm going to show you kind of my trading style, how I go about charts for setting up trades, uh, risk mitigation. We're going to go over pinex.us, the website a little bit. Uh, I definitely would recommend if you're looking at trading bots, use my link down below in the description. You'll get uh, discounts on trading fees when you first start out. Uh, yeah, I think this is a really, a really good way to accumulate some crypto and uh easy way to boost your gains coming in the next bull market because as you guys know when a bull market happens crypto just goes up up and up so i mean even if you set up a bad bot the chances of you failing like peak bull market slim to none so uh not gonna waste your time let's get into it please like and subscribe we're trying to get to 200 subscribers and yeah Okay, so now we're over here on Pinex. Uh, I prefer this trading bot platform because it's it's super simple. If you're not ready for something like three commas or all trading, which are like really in depth trading bots, this is a really nice one to go to. Uh, like I said earlier, I have my referral link down below in the description. I would re definitely recommend you use that just because it'll save you on trading fees and whatnot in the beginning. It's a super simple. Uh, Super simple bot, as you can see, I've already have some crypto preloaded into, uh, not crypto, well, it is crypto now. I preloaded some money. Uh, you can deposit money directly in through the Pinex platform. They have like their mini exchange. It doesn't, uh, if you're in the US, it doesn't offer as many options as say other exchanges like Coinbase or whatnot, but for what they have on here, I think it's a really good jumping off base for getting into trading bots and whatnot. Uh, I really like trading bots as a way of just like a uh, certain cryptos I can't mine. So you'll use a trading bot to mine it. And then I'll send my profits out from my trading bot into the crypto world to into staking nodes or whatever else I'm doing. Uh, but yeah, you can check out your past history on bots and from your past bots, if they're parameters you want to copy, you can do that. But yeah, super cool, super simple. Some really nice profits earlier in the year. That was a, a banger right there. But uh, yeah, so we're gonna come over here, trade. What One of the, one reason why I love using trading bots is say there's a project you wanna buy into, but it's already pumped a lot. It's a good way to DCA. They do have DCA bots. We will be going over all the individual bots. Today, we're just gonna focus on the grid trading bots, but there are also DCA bots, rebalancing bots, infinity grid, reverse grid, smart trade, trailing sale, and trailing buy. Hmm. but yeah i'm thinking about starting a series where we go through cover different trading bots i am no pro trader by any means but i would like to get there and if you guys want to join this journey become pro traders with me i would definitely like and subscribe because i want to do a lot more trading bot videos in the future so we're going to come over here to trading view and we're going to set up a chart let me get rid of these lines for you guys so we can start with the bear chart as you guys can see immutable x has definitely had its run up over the last while i'm just going to use this last segment right here for my trade so when looking at a chart one of the first things you're going to want to do are find levels of resistance levels of resistance are going to be anywhere where the line uh where the price action bounces off of a line repeatedly. I like to use at least three touches for any level of resistance, like this line right here at $1.22, $1.23 is a really awesome line of resistance because as you can see here on the way up, it, it bounces off of it three times. And that's what I was just saying, like three touches. And I like, I'll consider that two. It can be one, it can be, but it's a lot more uh, definite 
And then also to reassure this line of resistance, if you come over here on the other side, you can see uh, this was an upward uh, show of resistance. This is a downward, at least what I would, uh, my terminology may not be the best. This is just how I look at it. I'm not a pro trader by any means. So yeah, but you can see here it's trying to come up, it's trying to come downward, hits that same line, bounces up, hits that same line, bounces up. And so also you could kind of fudge one right into here and you can say, so if you were trying to, if it fell back into that range and you wanted to trade that back and forth, that could be a range, but we're not there. We're way up over here. So I'll make that as my absolute low where it could potentially tank about 50%. So we're going to try and have potential our risk mitigation is going to be absolute if it falls between that dollar 50 percent so whatever we invest we could lose upwards of 50 percent of it we're not going to do that today so coming up over here this is where we're currently running i want to mark a top and then I want to find resistance in a low spot. I could honestly probably mark it right in here at $2, $2.04. And so all we did here is we found our local top, our recent top. And then we're going to go and look for, like I said, that line of resistance. We have one good touch there. We have one good touch there. And we have some trading in here. And so I would consider that a good uh, upward resistance. And so, uh, and then in this range, I would probably mark one off right in here at 224. And so this is the range I would probably focus in. I would probably set my low at 204. I would probably do a buy-in like my absolute loss would be at 204. I would probably think about doing a buy-in if it's trading in this range at 224 and anything over that would be profit. So how do we set that up in a grid trading bot? We'll come over here. So they, one thing about PyNX, they do have a uh, pre-set up bots. I am too poor for these bots because they cost out, but but you can set up your own bot with your own parameters. So essentially how this works is over in our chart, we found our low of 204. So we're going to go with that. Not 204, 2.4, 2.04. And then our upper limit we said was that two, oop, wrong chart. We said it was that 257. We're currently at 242. Uh, we're going to come back way far back. We're going to look at our lines. As you can see right here, they have a top around 285 on the other side. And so, because this is a project I really believe in, I like that, to, that I'll come back over here, that this is our current top. I can see it easily getting to that 285. So we'll run that 2.85. So our bot is going to trade between 204 and 285. Anytime it dips in this range, it'll do a buy. Many times it goes up in this range, it'll do a sell, and then we'll sell out after we hit that 285. Let's make some profits. And so essentially what grids are, grids are going to be how many buys and sells it does in that range. So if we go back over to our chart, between this range, we'll get rid of that line and this line, not to confuse you guys. But essentially what will happen is our bot is going to say we do 10 grids. It's going to do 10 lines in this range, like probably six down here that are going to be buys, four up here that are going to be sells. 
as this price drops into those buy ranges, it'll do a buy. As it goes up into the sell ranges, it'll do sells. Super simple, right? And so I want to do, let's see what we get with 50. Let's not do 50. Let's run 40 grids. Let's run 30 grids. And down here, it'll tell you how much you need invested to adequately cover those grids. Because one thing you want to keep in mind, you don't want to have it set up to the point to where your grid, your fees, or your lot, like what you pay in trading fees, is dwarfed by the grid. Like how much you're actually going to make or sell in the grid. So that's one thing you want to keep in mind. So right here, it says profit slash grid. Uh, if we do run through all of our grids, we could make anywhere from a dollar 79 to <clears throat> ooh, 0.79%, uh, 1.7%. And I know that doesn't sound like a lot, but you hit those a couple times. It adds up really nicely. So for this trade, we're just going to run it at 45. Uh, we're going to run it at 46. And so we have our low, we have our live. Our low, our high, our grids, our investment. If you also come down here, you can set a price to where you can set a trigger price, which is a price to where it'll start your trade. Say you could see it dropping down to 43 or something. 40, uh, 243, you could set that. You can have a stop loss in cash, and then you can have it set to when it closes its bot. I'm going to set my stop loss down at one at a dollar eighty. Uh, we're not going to worry about these right this second. Uh, in a later video, we will go down to the more advanced options and cover those. But yeah, so then you just hit create. It's going to do a buy. It's going to allocate 50% into immutable X and then 50, uh, 49% into, uh, USDT. And then there, our bot is now set. If we wanted to come back over here, do, do, do. We can come to my trading bots. And as you can see, we've already lost two cents. Uh, yeah, trading bots in a nutshell, right? But as you can see over here, these are going to be all of our buys. So once it goes down to 243, it'll buy, 240, it'll buy, all the way down to 204. That's a 17% loss. And then on the other side, it'll buy all the way up to 285, which is a 15% gain. And so what you kind of want is for it to come down, buy, 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 buy. And then as it goes back up, it'll sell in the profits. Uh, yeah, so we'll set up one more trading bot for you guys. Uh, if you don't want to watch that, then please like and subscribe and have a nice day. But for you guys who want to stay, we're going to set up one on Solana using the similar thing. I'm gonna walk you guys through this one a little bit less. I'm just gonna try and show you my thought process and then maybe, yeah, we'll go from there. So we're gonna go over to Solana's chart, which as you can see has been pumping like freaking crazy. I'm gonna, before we even get into that, we're gonna set, uh, we're gonna be a little bit more conservative with this one with the l absolute low a 59 because Solana has gone through a run up. So we're trying to be a lot more conservative on this chart with our points, but that looks like a good lower level of resistance. You can see here it touches, it touches. You can see it passes, it comes down, it touches. It, well, it comes up, it fights to fully break out, it rides it, it breaks up and then touches it again. And then coming up on this line, we get a touch, we get a breakthrough, a fall under, it touches, and then breaks through. And then for our recent top, we're at 99. So with this one, I might trade it a little bit more conservatively. And because 98 to 59 is kind of a range there, I think I'm going to pull it I think running 70 to is going to make in my low 70 on it right now. Cause as you can see, we're not even going to go into that right now. RSI, I barely understand that. 
Okay, so, and then right after that, we can see a top of 102. Let's move my chart. I can see it potentially over here at 105. One oh five looks like a good top for us. Let's go back. Go back into our range here. That looks like a good range to trade in. We have a level of resistance we could bounce off for a little bit, and then a lot of buying range down below. So I think that will be the setup for Solano. We're going to set our top at 105. If you're a little bit extra bullish, 110 for Solana, I can see it. For a low, we're going to play it kind of conservative and run it. I kind of want to run it with that 77 and then potentially. Yeah, we're going to run our low at 77 and then we're going to run our top at 105 on Solana. Ooh, see, we're already up 20 cents on that trade. I could honestly close it there and take the profit. Uh, yeah, like I was saying earlier, my trading strategy, I like to take all these lows. If I did that five times more today, that's a dollar. I like it. Uh, that's, that's good right there. Charts analysis make you that money. So like we said, we're going to do Solana basic grid trading bot customize. We said we're going to do our lower limit of 77. And we're going to do our upper limit. At, we're going to do our upper limit at 108. As far as grids go, we're going to set up. We'll do 20 grids. come down here and then we'll make our absolute stop loss that 70 and then we'll start it now our bots should be running Oof, we're down a penny but we're up on that one and let's see if we have done any transactions yes as you guys can see at 40 we bought at 45 we sold some at 48 that made us a profit of 20 cents. So yeah, that's how the grid trading bots work. It's actually really cool. Uh, if you guys want to see more of these trading bot videos, please like and subscribe. Comment down some coins you would like to see on Pionex to have some trades, some long-term or potentially short-term trades set up on. And yeah, check out the links down below in the description. You'll earn some money. I'll make some money. It's a win-win. Uh, you guys have a nice day.